Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. Right, in this video, let's see how to add or remove a node from your Kubernetes cluster using KubeSpray. So in the first video, about two videos before this one, we saw how to use KubeSpray to provision a Kubernetes cluster. And then in the second video, we saw, I mean, in the previous video, we saw how to upgrade your cluster so we upgraded our cluster from 1.15.3 to 1.16.2. And now let's see how easy it is to add or remove a node from your Kubernetes cluster. All right, so I'm going to log into my Ansible machine, LXE exec Ansible bash. If you're following this video directly, some of the commands might not make sense to you. So please watch my previous two videos in this playlist, and then you will come to know what I'm actually doing here. Right, cd to kubespray, the GitHub repository that we checked out. And now we are going to remove a node. Let's say kubectl get nodes. We have one, two, three, four, node one, node two, node three, and node four. Vbox manage list VM. So we have uh, five machines. And now we are going to add, we have a spare machine, node five here. Let's see how to add that as a worker node. All right. So the requirement is from this Ansible machine, you should be able to log in to node five as root without typing password. So for that, in my first video, I showed you how to set up SSH key and copy your SSH key to all these nodes, which was done in my first video. So if I do SSH root at the IP address of my node five is 172.42.42.105, it shouldn't be asking me for a password, right? I logged in as root without typing my password. Okay, back to my Ansible machine. So now we are going to add this new node into our Kubernetes cluster as a worker node. All right, so edit the inventory file, which is inventory my cluster hosts.yaml. And here for in the top, you're gonna define what node, four, node five is. So I'm gonna copy node four and then paste it and then change node four to node five and all the IP address, IP address of node five. All right, so if you want to add this node as a master, add it here under cube master. I'm going to add this as a worker node, so I'm going to add it under cube node, node dash five sorry, node five. And if you want to add it as a new HCD node, you can add it here. All right, so that's all we need. And now we're gonna run our Ansible playbook. Ansible playbook minus I. And I mean the top, let me show you. Watch minus X cube CTL get nodes. All right, so we have four nodes. And soon once the Ansible playbook uh, run completes, we, we will be seeing a new node. Uh, and the inventory file is inventory my cluster hosts.yaml minus minus user is root and this time we are going to run the playbook scale.yaml. All right, so I think this will take about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the speed, how much memory, how much CPU you've got. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it says node is unreachable. Node is unreachable. Sorry, I think I should have made a typo here. VI inventory.host.yaml. Yep, node four, I forgot to change that. So node five. Then let's run that command again, Ansible playbook scale.yaml, right? So this will take about 20 minutes. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's ready. All right, so the command completed and now you can see node five has been added as a worker node. All right, cool. So it took about 13 minutes and now let's see how to remove a node. So in order to remove a node, uh, don't edit the inventory file first, just run the Ansible playbook and then we can delete the node from the inventory file because the node has to be in the inventory file uh, in order for the Ansible to find out what the node is. All right, so the command to delete a node, let's see uh, how we can delete node five from the worker node. All right, so let's say Ansible playbook minus i inventory file is my cluster host.yaml minus minus user is root and the playbook that we are going to use to remove a node is remove node.yaml 
and we also need to pass some extra options which is extra vars and the option is node equals the name of the node that you want to remove for example node 5 and if you want to remove additional nodes you can specify as a comma separated list node 5 node 4 node 3 and so on so now let's say we just want to remove node 5 so that's the command you need to run ansible playbook the inventory file as user root and the playbook is remove node.yaml and you have to pass which node you want to remove all right so it's going to ask for confirmation are you sure you want to delete node yes okay so it's going to delete the node and you will see the node 5 will get disappeared first it cordons the node okay so even if it has got some parts running on that particular node it will get evicted it won't be removed all of a sudden it will wait for the nodes to be parts to be evicted and rescheduled to other nodes and then it will get removed so when we remove a node it also resets the node which means um, it completely removes wipes everything that it has set up during the cluster provisioning so node 5 is a worker node all the components cube proxy cube scheduler and all the os level configurations this ansible playbook initially deployed so it's going to wipe everything it's going to give you back the machine how you gave it to ansible all right so that's done and node 5 is gone right cool so that's how easy it is to add or remove a node using cube spray so that's it for this video in my next video we will see how to reset the cluster completely meanwhile play with these videos and get familiar with cube spray and please share and subscribe i will see you all in my next video bye bye